Hey there, it's Shayna from Hello Teacher Lady. This video is going to go over some new features in Google Docs. The first feature is checklists. So this is something I was really excited about when they added it in. It works just like bullet points. So you're going to highlight the text that you want to turn into a checklist. And you're going to come up here. It's actually this icon right next to the bulleted list icon. So you're gonna click that and now you've got your checklist. So simple as that. And when you click on the checklist items, you can see that it will automatically strike through the text. So just a cool like interactive feature that they added in. So that is checklists in Google Docs. This next feature has to do with tables. So if I wanted to insert a table into my Google Doc, I would come up to insert table and then I would add in however many rows and columns I wanted. Now, you may have noticed when I went up to insert table that there is actually a new menu here, which is table templates. So this is a set of pre-made templates that Google has added. And if I click on, let's say, launch content tracker, it gives me a pre-made template and I can change the headers if I want. Um, I can add in my own data or my own information, but just another way that Google is trying to help us work a little smarter, right? Giving us a pre-made template obviously is going to save some time. So a couple other of the templates you can see here, a product roadmap and a review tracker. So this actually leads me to the next feature, which is drop down menus, something I'm super excited about. You may have noticed these additions on the preset table templates. If I click on them, they are actual drop down menus. So like interactive drop down menus right in Google Docs, which is pretty cool. You can add or edit the options that they give you in the preset. So you can come here and edit what they already have. You can also add your own. So let's say you just wanted to start from scratch. You're going to come up here to insert and then drop down. And you can see that any preset or any templates that you have used will now be part of your like preset drop down menu so it's like really easy to use one and you know use it again later but let's start a new drop down here and you can give it a template name and this is the name that's going to show up in your preset drop down menu so i'll just do like for example class check-in and you can change the colors of the drop downs as well so you could say like green would be all good wherever we needs help and then you could click save and this will give you a drop down and you can change it oh if you want to get rid of options three and four you can just click the little trash icon so now i'm going to save and i've got my new drop down so pretty cool new feature i am super excited about this this is drop downs in google docs this next new feature is the ability to type on top of images. So you can see here that this uh, graphic right here is an image that I've inserted into Google Docs. And this text here is actually written just directly on top. So I could add in the date um, and I'm typing directly on top of an image, which is really cool. Previously, if you inserted an image in Google Docs, all you could do was like wrap the text so you could have it like you know, off to the side here, which kind of, you know, always messed up the formatting, or you could do like the inline where it was like directly above or below. But now what you can do when you add in an image is you can click this little button here, uh, or this little icon here, which says like behind text, um, or in front of text. So behind text, and now I can actually move the image directly behind the text, and then I can, you know, edit the text as needed. All right, so the last new feature that I'm going to share with you today are emoji reactions. So this works with like the comment feature in Google Docs. If you wanted to leave a comment, you would highlight the text and either click this comment icon or the comment icon over here. Uh, you may notice next time you go to leave a comment that there is a new icon right below the comment icon and it is the emoji reaction icon. So if I click on this, it will allow me to choose an emoji that I want to use as a reaction or a comment. So let's use the party popper, and there you go. So previously, if I wanted to leave an emoji as a comment on a student's Google Doc, I would come up here to my emoji Chrome extension, and you know, let's say I wanted to do like the thumbs up, I'd search for thumbs up, copy it and then add it into a comment. Um, now I don't have to do any of that. All I have to do is highlight the text, click the emoji reaction, and 
it gives you some of the common ones down here. So a pretty cool, just a very quick way to go in and leave some feedback for students or however else you want to use them. So that's the emoji reactions in Google Docs. Thanks for checking out some of my favorite new Google Docs features. There are actually quite a few more new features as well that I will cover in another video. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.